Hey guys, thanks for checking out the podcast. Before we get started, I want to remind you about the very cool bucket list trip I am doing in 2026, the Smitty Learns Irish podcast, where I'm going to do my bucket list, hike Ireland for a year, learn about Irish history, town by town, through the mouths of the pub owners and regulars. Because what's a better way to learn about something you love than to experience it yourself? Patreon.com forward slash we the number three Smiths, only three bucks a month, and thanks for checking it out. George Carlin documentary on HBO. Holy dog shit, man. That is my George Carlin nerd's dream come true. And that when I tell you that it was probably the most inspiring fucking thing I had seen maybe ever. And right at the right fucking time that I needed it, man. Right at the right fucking time, you know, where all this shit's going on. You're just, like, in the dumps. What the fuck am I going to do? I don't have any fucking money. But you start to pull yourself out of it. You start to be like, okay, I, I see, I see, a, now I see a goal. But in that moment when you needed it, it fucking dropped. Because I've been a fucking fan my whole life, pretty much, since I've pre-puberty. Like, I remember, I bet I was fucking 10, 9, 8. Uh, how fucking old was I when I uh, listened to Class Clown? When the fuck was it released? Well, it was released 77, Class Clown. Uh, and it was mid-80s, early 80s when I listened to it, probably. And I'm just like, he gets you with the swearing, and then he throws some deep thinking in there, and it kind of catches you. You're like, oh, this is a bit different. And then years later... Uh, as a probably a freshman in high school, I discovered uh, jamming in New York, and then it was fucking all over. Every book he wrote, uh, every movie he was in, everything. And I'm not talking just like l passively uh, watched or something, but like studied. Like I fucking uh, study that guy. I got my love. I don't know if I got my love of language and how language works from him, but it certainly fueled it, you know? Uh, and then his love of swearing. I don't know where that came from. I, I any famous resignation letter. <laughs> I, <laughs> I grew up with George Carlin and Eddie Murphy. I don't know what the fuck to tell you, you know, it's just a real thing. And then just how he, he was a comedian and, a, and a, just a brilliant fucking uh, writer his whole life. And, but he just did it until the day he died. I saw him twice uh, perform live once at uh, Leelanau Sands Casino. And this is like 20, early 2001, probably. And I was like, I, I wasn't front row, but I was like second or third row. And I was drinking White Russians, and they fucking White Russians came out my nose right at the beginning. It was something ludicrous, ludicrously vulgar, by the way. I want to say, and it, and it fucking hit me. Boom! White Russian out my nose, motherfucker. And at that whole show, I was just doubled over, dying, watching my fucking hero. And then, if, and then probably, oh, it was on his last tour, probably. Before his last special came out, he was working on the material for that HBO special. I think it was like, was it Life with, is Worth Losing or his, whatever his last one was. And this motherfucker's still doing it. He was however old, 72, 74, something like that. And just to see him fucking continuously just be so cutting edge and funny and thoughtful. Uh, I was like, man, if there's ever a fucking dude I wanted to be like, it was that guy. You know, creatively, professionally. And to see him how he started. And I feel like, honestly, it's... I don't not think I am George Carlin. Clearly. I have no illusions that I am anything close to resembling George Carlin. He is the greatest fucking communicator maybe ever. Uh, but he makes... Like, I want to be that good. You know? I would love to be that good at, like, language and talking, conveying your your thoughts, you know? And just to see his fucking journey where he, <laughs> I posted this, the, the fuck all of them thing on Instagram and social medias, where it was the, uh, sorry, spoiler alert, fucking get to the end of episode one. And he's just like t talking about, 
it's on the record. It's not like it's a fucking movie. Shut up with your spoilers. Anyway, <laughs> uh, he, he, he had hit a down note in his career because everybody thought he was a fucking joke, always making the same fucking George Carlin type jokes. And he was kind of a caricature of himself. And he's like, I heard all these people talking shit. And he's like, I know, you know what? I decided right that I'm just going to be better than everybody. I'm going to get so much better at this and fuck all of them is the essentially the word I'm paraphrasing a little bit. And I was watching this shit and I got so fucking fired up, man. I'm like, you're fucking goddamn right. I just mentioned my resignation letter. That's how I felt in that moment. Just like being like, you know what? I'm tired of your fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm tired of all of this nonsense or whatever I seem to be, seems to be nonsense that I just want no part of anymore. I'm going to do my own fucking thing. Fuck all of them. And I fucking stood up when he said that in the documentary and fist pumped. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Fuck all of them. God, that. And then that was only the first part. There were two parts, which was equally as good because the best part of that fuck all of them if it was a movie and again here's where the spoiler alert comes in uh spoiler alert again he fucking did it <laughs> it's honestly uh was the most inspiring validating uh thing i could have watched in that moment i'm like everything i'm doing is fucking worth it everything i'm doing is fucking worth it and i love it i uh yeah. Sometimes you sometimes you got to find the things, you know. You got to find the things to uh, to inspire you, to keep you going. Because man, I'm not saying there's no way I would ever say that I'm going to quit this podcast. As I said a few episodes ago, talking about what's going to happen, the dude wears my leash shit. I'm like, I will do this shit on my fucking phone if I have to, because fuck all of them. What the hell? Everything.